everybody Did you hear the news? It's Track Reviews Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a track review. Brand new single and music video from Tyler, the friggin' creator, Noid. Yes, like many great artists before him, including Death Grips and Eve Toomer, Tyler, the creator, is uh, now also noided. He truly is a Noid boy. But yes, unless you've been living under a rock, Tyler, the creator, fashion designer, director, producer, rapper, singer, songwriter, doer of many different things. He has a brand new album and album cycle on the way, which was announced uh, very recently. In fact, the record is supposed to be dropping right at the end of, of this month. In a matter of days, it's coming out. Oh my God. Chromacopia is the name of the forthcoming record. Tyler dropped a, a bit of a teaser and visual for the record, which I thought was pretty interesting and was giving vibes of a uh, hive mind of conformity of uniformity. It was almost a Pied Piper kind of thing with how he was uh, leading all of these people into uh, like this storage box that uh, then went on to explode. With this new album cycle, he also seems to have a new haircut, a new look, a mask, a color palette picked out, and uh, a mysteriously uh, you know, green backdrop for the Chromacopia logo that is very brat. Seems we're transitioning from Brat Summer to Chromacopia Fall. And let's see if this new song and single gets us in the mood for that. Uh, Tyler, the creator, Noid, let's go. A couple things. Let's start off with the message being conveyed here, the direction Tyler is trying to go in thematically with this, especially on the music video side, which I'm sure Austin will throw up a few stills of in the midst of this video. Obviously, Tyler is trying to get across to his audience, to the world, that uh, he is essentially scared shitless on some level of the fame that he has accrued over the course of his career and uh, what that means for his personal life, for or his safety. I actually really love, 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 love the series of uh, shots that you get kind of jumping back and forth uh, with this woman approaching the camera uh, with tears in her eyes, just this absolutely psychotic, excited look on her face. Uh, in some shots, she has a phone, you know, presumably she's like shooting video or ready to take pictures. And then in some of these very kind of choppy, jarring shots, uh, she doesn't have a phone in her hand, but a gun which I'm sure is a thought that has run through the minds of uh, really any person who has uh, kind of uh, built up any fame or any notoriety, especially in the internet age. Uh, lots of people might recognize you or come up to you and approach you and want to have a conversation, introduce themselves, so on and so forth. And you don't know if this person is uh, going to approach you or you know engage with you in a normal way, or are they going to do it in a way that is weird or violent or kind of violates your boundaries. I'll say I myself have had some very weird interactions with individuals who uh, definitely stepped uh, in some weird places, took things too fucking far. Pretty much every person in the internet age who has built up any kind of crowd, any kind of audience is subject on some level to very weird and constant comments and or threats from total freaking freaks on the internet. And the thing is, even if you haven't had one of these types of uh, very strange or negative interactions, uh, it's, it's always kind of in the back of your head. Am I going to have that kind of interaction today? Because I have seen this uh, litany of totally just out there fucking comments of, 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 of things like, oh, this is what this person would like to do to me. Oh, I'd like to do this. If I ever see Fantano in person, it's on site. Tyler kind of takes this further with the narrative of the music video. He is paranoid to just like kind of be existing in his house. Is he going to be robbed or attacked? Uh, this also kind of causes him to uh, have 
paranoia in terms of are there ulterior motives in romantic or intimate relationships I'm having as well, as he kind of says in the song, uh, is somebody going to get pregnant by me in order to get money from me or, you know, just kind of maintain proximity to me. So yes, the man is looking over his shoulder. He is afraid. The attention that is on him has put him in a place where he just seemingly can't trust the world he exists in. It is a strong message. It is a bold message. It is a clear message message. I think really one of the clearest messages he has gotten across in a brand new single over the course of his career. And I think in some ways you could even read this as like the other edge that is on the sword uh, that we saw on Call Me If You Get Lost. Because a lot of that record very much saw Tyler reflecting on his fame in a way where he was like just enjoying the spoils of it, really flexing those spoils for the entire world to see. And now with this new Noid single, we are seeing uh, the darker side of that moon. So again, the lyrical direction, the overall theme of this track, uh, that's what stuck out to me the most. That is where I feel like this song succeeds uh, for the most part. Then we have the music, we have the production on the track, which honestly, I'm not really as impressed with. I mean, stylistically, I feel like there is an interesting uh, collision of genres going on here, from the stripped back drum beats, to the rock guitars, to uh, some of the chanted background vocals, and the uh, you know stereotypical Tyler, the creator, jazzy chords and vocal harmonies that pop up here and there. I'll say the mix on the track is good, and Tyler does a great job of like balancing all all of these different flavors in a way to where they make sense. They don't sound like they're clashing. They don't sound at odds per se, but like as a song and as a piece of music with uh, dynamics and progression and development and, and hopefully, I don't know, a, a melody or a hook or something that would actually like stand out or stick with you after you're done listening to the song, there's not really a whole lot to it. Like sure, while the rock guitars are there, the riff itself that plays throughout the track is super basic and bland. The drums, while they are crisp and they do maintain like the tempo of the track really well, uh, there's not really a strong groove to them or anything like that. As far as the chords and harmonies that pop up later, while it is interesting that they mix with these guitars and drums uh, pretty well, as far as like, you know, Tyler musical modes go, they're pretty predictable and to be expected. The track does undergo a bit of an interesting shift in the second half with this kind of cartoony, strange R&B inspired bridge. The beat switches and changes up and we get some uh, pitched vocals from Tyler with which he's doing uh, some much tighter, more aggressive rapping. He is still very much on message and focused topically and gives us more clever and interesting wordplay uh, in regards to people obsessing over him wanting to know personal information about him. While I do think the second half of the track is a lot stronger than uh, the first, musically speaking, uh, the, to me, vibe-wise and instrumentally, this very much feels like something we've kind of already gotten a better version of off of Igor. While in one breath, it really seems like Tyler has uh, something important to say, on the musical end of things and the aesthetic end of things, it kind of feels like he's uh, lacking some inspiration right now. Let me know what you guys think though down in the comments. Is Noi doing it for you? Are you excited for Chromacopia? Let me know. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Tyler, the creator, Noid uh, forever.